Welcome to Get Your Care. In this video, the difference between Delta Delta and Star Star Three Phase Transformer will be explained, and we will also explain how a three phase Delta Star Transformer can be modified as Star Delta Three Phase Transformer. Suppose this is a Delta Delta Transformer, and the line voltage V L equal to four hundred volt. and the line current il is equal to the 10 ampere similarly this is a star star three phase transformer here also the line voltage vl equal to 400 volt and the line current il equal to 10 ampere as we know for delta delta phase voltage equal to the line voltage equal to the 400 volt therefore the phase voltage is also 400 volt but here the current phase current is line current divided by root 3 therefore the phase current will be 10 Divided by root over of three. Therefore, if the line current is ten ampere, then the phase current I phase will be ten divided by root over of three. But here, the phase voltage is the line voltage divided by of root over of three. Therefore, if the line voltage is four hundred volt, then phase voltage will be 400 divided by root over of 3 therefore here the phase voltage is the 400 divided by root over of 3 but for star star connection the phase current equal to the line current equal to the 10 ampere therefore line current is 10 ampere is phase current also 10 Ampere number one for the same voltage rating that is 400 volt 400 volt but here phase voltage is 400 but here phase voltage is 400 divided by root three therefore for the same line voltage but voltage rating compared to delta delta star star connection required less number of terms since the phase voltage is less therefore. The stress-stir connection required less number of turns. That means here one by root three equal to point five seven seven. That is equal to fifty seven point seven percent of delta delta. connection as i explained earlier the voltage rating decided the insulation material required and the current rating decide cross section area of copper here in stir stir connection the less number of turns is required therefore in stir stir connection less insulation will be required compared to delta delta number 2 stir stir connection required less insulation since here voltage is 400 divided by root 3 but here the phase voltage is 400 number 3 here the phase current is 10 divided by root 3 but here phase current is 10 ampere therefore here more current will circulate through the phase less current will circulate through the phase more the current More the cross section area. 
therefore in dental interconnection less cross section of copper material is required therefore in dental interconnection required less cross section of copper material number 4 the switching transient in delta delta connection is more since the par phase voltage is also high switching transient in delta delta connection is more since par phase voltage is high point number 5 the delta delta connection is mechanically weak delta delta is mechanically weak in delta delta connection due to absence of third harmonics it is more sinusoidal voltage is obtained delta delta connection always sinusoidal voltage is induced therefore we can say delta delta connection is used for low voltage and high current application and stir stir correction is used for high voltage and low current application now let us practice a numerical a three phase delta stir transformer 33 kb by 66 kb is modified as stir delta transformer find the new voltage rating of the transformer the original connection was delta stir you have to modify it as stir delta here for the original connection the bl1 is 33 kb and vl2 is equal to 66 kb the primary line voltage is 33 kb the secondary line voltage is 66 kb therefore primary phase voltage for delta connection phase voltage is the line voltage vl1 equal to 33 kb but for stir connection the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage divided by root 3 therefore v phase 2 secondary phase voltage will be 66 divided by root 3 kb when our an original connection is modified as new connection then here for modified connection the phase voltage will be exactly equal to the phase voltage of original connection therefore from here the phase voltage one primary phase voltage is equal to 33 kb 33 kb and the secondary phase voltage is 66 divided by root over of 3 kb here for stir connection the line voltage is equal to root 3 into phase voltage therefore it is equal to 33 into root over of 3 and for delta connection line voltage 
equal to the phase voltage therefore here line voltage is equal to the phase voltage that is equal to 66 divided by root over 3. Therefore, I can say for start delta transformer the voltage ratio voltage ratio equal to 33 into root 3 divided by 66 in divided by 3 that is equal to 33 into 3 into 66 that is the answer.